I'm Ines Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com So in yesterday's tutorial, I did a tutorial on how to create a neon trailer title Which is really cool by the way But I didn't cover one part of that tutorial and that's the stroke growth that you see in my preview So in this tutorial, I'll be covering that technique So let's open up After Effects and get started all right, here we are in Adobe After Effects and I actually already have a project open and this is from a previous tutorial where I will be using this effect too. So if you want to know how to actually do this kind of intro, definitely go ahead and check that tutorial. It's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah. Uh, let's get started. So I will open my title sequence right here. So basically what I have is a text layer and some fractal noise applied to it and some other text layers which you don't have to look at because these are the only ones for the beginning of this video and just for the sake of this tutorial I will delete my fractal noise and actually set this to no track mat so we will keep things simple uh, I will actually remove these like so alright so we have one text file now and we have our text with a stroke so I'll cl I clicked on my text and I went to the text presets uh, right here character and I just set this to an outline so we don't have I just switched it like so and I added a fill to it to give it some color okay so uh, we actually don't need any kind of uh, of these things but um, alright so we'll click to my, on my text and what I want to do is actually go ahead and edit duplicate my text I will uncheck my first text and now I will go and click on that first layer that is visible go for layer and create masks from text. Now we have our masks uh, just uh, like outlining our kind of text and of course everything changed but we can easily fix that. We're going to apply an effect called stroke. And there we have it, generate stroke. We're going to apply this to our outlines like so. So actually I'm going to untoggle uh, CD mask so we actually can concentrate on our yeah, or text itself. And if we go to the paint style here on transparent, we can now see uh, one of the outlines, one of the first texts. The reason why is we can choose a path and it's choosing the first one. We all have different masks for each letter of the text. What you can do is also check all masks and there we go, we have this. All right, so what I wanna do now is go to the beginning of my timeline and actually, uh, well, not the beginning, right here. I'll go right here, actually. I'll make this my beginning of my timeline. So go over here and go to the um, end here and click on the stopwatch for end and set this to, well, we don't need it to be zero, but something like 60. Let's go for 60. So we, we don't want it to be completely uh, revealing our text. You can also go for like zero to 100 and that's going to build up your text. And that's completely up to you, but I actually already want it to be halfway there and then building up a little bit more. So I will I go to five seconds now so second five right here and I want it to be 100% so now we have an animation like this so it actually starts at 60% and it's building up my text but that's not nearly what I want so what I will do is check stroke sequentially and just uncheck this and now we have this kind of effect which looks really cool actually so now we have it building up our text like so really cool Okay, so I'm going to change my brush, uh, brush size to 3 um, because this is the exact same size as my original text and I will again um, enable this text. Okay, so you can do some really cool stuff like this as well. You can like build up different kind of colors in your text. Really cool. Um, but I will click on my text layer and actually go to the fill effect, edit copy and go to my outlines and edit paste or actually just uh, pick the color of our sign color. There we go. Same kind of trouble. We didn't need to copy our first one. Okay, so um, yeah, currently don't see your stroke animation um, because we have our text below it. So if we uncheck it, we can see it, but if we allow it, we can see it. And what we want to do is actually uh, kind of take a few letters that we actually want to use. So let's go to the mask pen tool and maybe for the U, we're going to like draw around the U on our text layer. Make sure that you're on your text layer. Press M twice on the keyboard 
and well actually once was fine as well and subtract it from your text and now you can do this a few times like right here for the C maybe you want to do the same kind of thing and also subtract this layer and that way you can actually uh, individually check f uh, yeah a few of your lines you can zoom in here uh, maybe a whole spacebar to move around and go to like the B and we're going to pick like the inside of our B which is uh, pretty cool uh, we can close this and also subtract this part and that way you can actually go ahead and choose which parts you want to still have that build up kind of motion so this is basically how to get that kind of effect we'll probably make another tutorial on uh, another technique using this exact same technique but what you can achieve with it so uh, pretty cool uh, if you enjoyed watching this video I know it's quick but yeah that's not the most important thing the most important thing is that you learn something new well I hope you did um, but if you like this tutorial be sure to give this video a like and also subscribe to the channel if you want to see more and that's it for this video See you in the next one. Goodbye.